everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun pop-up card using the Bright Rosa Flower Band die. So when you open it up, you have this really nice flower that pops up. And you've got little matching ones here as well. And then on the back, you have all this area here to write your message. Now this is using the papers from the Paper Boutique and this is the Moonlight Song and I really liked this one. It's got a little bit of a darkness to it and I thought it would be really good for birthdays in October as a kind of a touch on a Halloween card but not quite so I know October's a fair way off yet but I just thought I'd get it now because these things aren't usually <laughs> there when we want them but I just love it's got that beautiful black owl there and it says birthday wishes for a special friend. And on the back there, obviously, I've got a happy birthday. So this will be given to a friend. And um, yeah, I just love how this pops out. So this one's using the flower band, which is this one here. And I did show these in more detail on my What Did I Get video, which I will link up here, because you can see the whole of the collection of the Bright Rosa collection, because there's so many amazing dyes. But today we are going to be using this one here, the butterfly band. So they are bands, so they're meant, the intention really is to have them wrap around cards or on the front of cards or as a belly band and things like that. But I'm gonna show you how you can use them as a pop-up feature so you can get a lot more for your dies. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the butterfly band. So there is the main die. These are beautiful, huge dies. So I'm gonna show you, we're gonna cut that one and then we're gonna cut all the detail out here. And then with the other butterfly die set that also comes, you can buy these in a bundle, and I'll show you that one in a minute, but I'm gonna die cut a lot of butterflies to decorate all inside the card as well, and you've also got all those bits. I'm gonna talk you through everything. First of all, I wanna get this one die cut. So I'm using, the papers I'm gonna to use today are this one here. So it's the Paper Addicts, Once Upon a Dream, and it is has a huge butterfly theme running through it, so I thought this is gonna be perfect to have as like my background papers. So I've pulled out this lovely, kind of lemon yellow cardstock, which is the Dovecraft premium cardstock. So because it's Dovecraft and the Paper Addicts is by Trimcraft, both these are by Trimcraft, I think they're papers, um, a lot of them coordinate really well with your paper packs. I don't think that's all, always intentional, but I do find that that does happen a lot. So I pick this one up here and you just wanna cut, obviously I don't wanna, well I can't, I don't have a, uh, a 12 by 12 machine. I don't even know if there is a 12 by 12 machine, but I'm just gonna trim this here. And this is gonna be for a six by six card, okay? Because that's what these fit in. I've tried it in five by seven, doesn't quite work. It will work perfectly in an eight by eight as well. So if you're in the UK, we do like large cars and I know lots of people that make eight by eight, so this will work perfectly for that. So I'm just gonna bring in my big shot here and just get this one cut. So when this one pops out, it will have these pieces already cut and those are kind of guidelines. So if you did wanna have this as a solid piece and use it as a topper on something, it's very easy to just trim there and there and you'll have it as a separate piece. But we wanna keep these pieces on there. And because we need to make this pop out of our card as such, we need to just create a few score lines. So I'm just gonna line it up, make sure both, you know, it's nice and kind of even. So I'm pushing that right up there and making sure this is flush across the side there. Now you will find that the butterfly wing lines up with the three quarters of an inch kind of score line. So I wanna go one in from that. So I'm actually gonna score at five eighths of an inch, okay? And then I'm gonna score at uh, a quarter of an inch. Okay, so then I'm just gonna flip it over and do the same. So I'm gonna score it a quarter of an inch and five eighths of an inch. Then I wanna do a score line right through the center of the body. Now it so, just so happens that the three and a half marker is pretty much bang on halfway. So I'm gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna score there. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. So that's kind of prepared now and then the other bits we add to it, you can kind of just fold as the card folds in half. So that's that piece. Now I want to start kind of adding all the other layers to the butterfly. So I'm now going to bring in the papers here because there's some nice kind of quite solid purple colours, which is what I want to use. So I think I'm going to go for this heart and that's what I'm going to cut 
the next part of the butterfly out with. So yeah, I'm going to pull out this one here. It's got the ballerina slippers on the other side. I probably wouldn't really use those. So what you want to do now is you're going to die cut both of these at the same time. Because this one here, if I pop it over this one, is the same, just slightly smaller. Okay, so it'll give you a nice yellow border. So you can cut that separately. Then you can cut it again with this piece in there and it will give you um, all that detail because if you cut that on its own, it doesn't have a border kind of frame. So it would just cut that into your cardstock, whereas that one there will cut it out. So let me show you. So okay, so there it is as a solid piece. Then I'm gonna cut it again using some more of this yellow. But this time I'm also going to cut it with this in the middle. And it's just about layering it really. There are so many different ways to do this. There are different configurations. So, you know, feel free to do it any way you want, but I'm just trying to show you as many kind of variations as possible. So I'm just bringing in some purple tape here. Everything seems to match. Look, my purple tape with my purple papers. So I'm going to sit them together and you will see they perfectly fit. And then just tack that all down there. And again, run this through my machine. Okay, carefully take this away. And this is the one that is just stunning. And by the way, these cut beautifully. I don't have to add a shim or anything. That's just one pass through my dye machine. And you can see there, most of it all comes out, you just have to help a couple of the others through, like so. I'll take those little ones out in a moment. But look at that detail. So now I can sit that over this purple, so I get that purple colour poking through. And then I can also sit it on this one here. And you start to get this really gorgeous butterfly coming to life. Isn't that stunning? I absolutely love this so much. Okay, so I'm just going to remove these and then we can start sticking it all together. Okay, so it's up to you how you want to stick it. I like to keep a lot of it free, so I'm just going to kind of just work the middle bit there. We're going to be folding this all again in a minute anyway, but I'm just going to stick the body. I'm not going to stick the wings at all, and that goes for all the pieces. So I'm just going to stick that one right in the middle. Now we have got a body section which will go over all of this, so this piece afterwards will go over there and I'm going to break that up with the purple again. And then I'm going to just stick the whole body down over that. It's very easy to line up. Okay, so now I'm going to die cut, I'll bring in my smaller machine now, I'm going to die cut that body in this same purple. Oh, it just fits. I didn't really judge that very well, did I? I just went for it, but usually the die is slightly smaller anyway, so that should should be just okay. Should have checked that, but I think, oh yeah, look at that, just in there. Now, because you're gonna be folding this, you do wanna make sure, get rid of that, that you stick it, I would actually add the glue onto this part of the body rather than this bit, because obviously not all of this is actually attached, but I'm gonna stick it right over there. And I would say before you bend this, make sure it's really, really nice and secure and dry. You don't wanna, fold it when the glue's still wet because it will actually stretch your cardstock and then when it goes back into its normal form like flat it will have like a bubble in the middle so if you leave it to one side don't rush it and just kind of come back to that then that's what you want to do also with these folded score lines you want to fold both of them in like that okay so you'll have this small little kind of quarter of an inch there on the back that's what we're going to use to attach it to the card and then again there and there and that's how it will be. And in a minute when it's all dry, we're gonna fold right through the middle there so the whole thing pops up. Okay, so I've got a six by six card base here and these ones are, they are six by six. I only say that because there are some out there that aren't. These are the Dovecraft ones, so I'll link them um, on my blog and below. But that's what I'm using for the card. And then I'm just gonna choose some papers now for my mats and layers.
Okay, so I've cut these two here, which are five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and these for these are for inside. You also want the same size to mat on the front, and then you might want five and a half by five and a half as another layer to go on top of that. So just drop down in quarter inch increments, which is what I tend to do. But I'm going to stick both of those now in there, and I think that butterfly looks really nice with that background and we're going to have more butterflies all over this so it should come together really nicely. So I'm just going to use my cull out and get that all stuck down. Okay next we want to score through the middle of this butterfly so again I'm just popping it in my scoreboard lining it up here until you kind of get a score line lined up with the centre of this body here. So I think about there you might not be able to get all the way through, but if you just kind of roughly follow, like so, and it would just give you something to kind of, you know, look at and follow. There we go. You're not going to get a crisp fold, that's not the intention, it is just to get a fold there, because obviously that is going to be lying inside the card like that okay so this is the butterflies border so you can get this this die set and a border um sorry a edge one as a bundle if you wanted to or you can buy these two together or you can buy more separately but this one <laughs> the reason I love this so much and many of you thought the same these are my sample pieces but you get tons and tons of butterflies and they are so quick and easy. So these are my sample butterflies, but I intend to kind of have them all around like that. How cute will they look? Really, really pretty. So inside here, you get this edge, which you can have along the card, and then you get all of these. So I'll pop that all to one side. Again, look at that video that I've linked up, because you'll be able to see the unboxing, well, unboxing, but the, the what did I get a bit better. So there's the die, look at that, isn't it gorgeous? But this here, so you run that through and it will cut all of those, so four butterflies, and then this is your detail for them. So I'm gonna put this all on high speed now and get all of these butterflies kind of prepared. Okay, so you would have seen me stick all that down and now you're probably wondering why has that been taken off because when I went to close it, I realised that I've done this all correct but when I said fold it like that, so just fold over those edges, you don't, you want to fold over the whole thing. You still only want to glue those pieces but you need to fold the whole thing over. I'd forgot that's how I'd done it with the other one. So fold that all over, so all the score lines, so you've just got that on the front and you'll have both of these sections on the back and then with that one. So still just doing the same one but fortunately I was able to save it and some of the glue was still setting because I thought there's no way I'm going to get that off but I did. So again same way make sure you bow it and line up that middle body and then that whole piece needs to go under. I did kind of think when I was looking at it, and I thought, oh, I think that's going to pop out the sides, and it did, and I thought, oh no. I'm hoping that that cardstock isn't going to be too weak. It shouldn't be, it should be okay. I've got some glue there, I just want to get rid of it. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry a second. Okay, so that's all dried, so you should be able to lift up the side pieces now, because remember, all you stuck was just that quarter inch piece. So these pieces need to come up like so. And now the whole thing closes up. I was like, Phew. I can wipe the sweat away now, but it does work really nicely. And once, I mean, you do have to make sure you poke those in only because they're gonna catch on these other butterflies like that. But once it's closed up, that's ready to give to someone. And then when they open it, you've got this cool, and it kind of looks like it's moving. I really like it. It's lovely, love this a lot. So that's the inside. Now I'm gonna have a little look around and see what, bits and sentiments and stuff that I've got to decorate it with and then like I said on the back you 
I'm this is because I just want the middle to be all about this beautiful pop-up I'm going to be writing my message on the back but of course you could have you know you don't have to put the butterflies here or whatever it is you're using you can have you know a nice panel here to write your your message you do not have to do it the way I've done it but that's just the way I wanted to but again if you want a panel on the back here like I did with this one I've pretty much covered the whole space. I haven't left a border, and this was five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So um, I just got a very, very thin white border there. So I'm gonna have a little play around and see what I can pull out to decorate the front. I'm gonna use the smaller butterfly in that same set as the pop-up one here that I've used. So I'm gonna get that one die cut and have something nice on the front and also get the back all ready. Okay, so that's the card all finished. I'll quickly talk through what I've done. So the mats and layers here, the purple one is five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and then this one on top is five and a half by five and a half. And these papers here from the Once Upon a Dream, they actually match really nicely with parts of the Secret Garden Dovecraft collection. So you'll see here the Happy Birthday, this is the Sentiment Toppers. They worked really well with this collection. Just bring it up a bit close there, you can see and I just used some gel glue just underneath there just to keep it all in place. And then look how perfectly matched the paper flowers are. So again, they work really well. So I've just put the one yellow one there. Then I've used another butterfly, which was from this one. So it's the smaller one. So we've got the main one inside and then the smaller one I've popped on the outside here. And then on the back, I've just left it pretty plain, but again, same mats and layer sizes as the front. And then inside here, you will see a lovely butterfly. And all of these pieces here, oh, the sentiment, sorry, on the back is that one there, which I always use, and that's the big birthday words. Um, but that's all the butterflies there, which are on that next one, which is the border. Um, and I've got the four there, and I just, I love it. I think it just looks so nice. I might pop a little sentiment or something there, I'm not sure yet. Those kind of things I sometimes leave until you know, I actually come to give it to that person, but what a lovely thing to open up and look at. Isn't that lovely? And then like I said, you've got loads of room on the back there. So yeah, that's that one. And then just a recap on the one earlier. So different in terms of the decoration, but you know, I always like to, I just make, all my cards are always so different. But this one here is, I just love that doily in the background. And then look, isn't that gorgeous? And that is using the flower band. So everything I feature will be listed below. I'm really making sure now that everything I use I list because there's always seems to be something I miss. So hopefully it will all be there. If not, just leave a comment because I will read it at some point. But yeah, I hope you like these pop-up cards. Check out all the links. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.